Researchers have detected strange radio signals coming from deep space. These mysterious radio waves might just be bursts of cosmic energy from a distant neutron star. Or it could be that scientists have discovered a highly advanced civilization 90 light years away from Earth. So, what kind of civilization would have the ability to send strong signals like this? Well, scientists classify civilizations on something called the Kardashev scale. It's a scale that measures a civilization's technological ability to harness energy. While it's a hypothetical scale that could eventually have five or more levels, most scientists only refer to the first few. But don't be underwhelmed. We're the only civilization we know of. And technically, we're still stuck on type zero. At this stage, we've managed to harness some, but not all of our planet's potential energy. We consume about 18 trillion watts of power every year, and if we wanted to bump ourselves up to a Type 1 civilization, we'd need to consume over 500 times that every second. To do this, we'd need to harness, store, and utilize all of the energy available to us. That includes all raw materials and every bit of sunlight that reaches Earth. We'd also have to tame volcanoes, earthquakes, and other natural forces. At the rate at which we're developing now, it's possible that we could be a Type 1 civilization within the next 200 years. But whatever civilization scientists may have discovered in the far reaches of space could already be a Type 2 civilization or higher. Okay, before we can even think about pushing our civilization to Type 1, we've got to take care of the planet we already have. For instance, the Colorado River is seriously running low. It's drying up because we've been using too much water and because climate change has brought on a major drought. In 1999, two lakes along the river were nearly full, but today, well, today they're barely a quarter full. The Biden administration has been working hard to reduce water usage, and most states involved have supported the plan, but California, which uses the most water, hasn't jumped on board, and it's concerning. Listen, balancing water needs isn't easy, especially in fast-growing cities and in farming regions. But climate change affects us all, and it's time to step up our water-saving game and support leaders who are ready to tackle this crisis. Only then can we start planning how to harvest all the energy our planet has to offer. Once our civilization has all of the energy available on our home planet under control and we graduate to a Type 1 on the Kardashev scale, then we need to take the next step. Time to crank up our energy consumption to 10 billion times what it was before. To do this, we'd need to harness not just all the solar energy that reaches Earth, we'd need all of the energy our star generates, period. If there is a Type 2 civilization out there, they're probably using an incredible system to do this, a Dyson Sphere. They'd build this megastructure around their star to collect all the energy it radiates out in every direction. They could even assemble other Dyson Spheres around the first Dyson Sphere to guarantee that little to no energy escapes. But there's nothing simple about this technology, and that's why only advanced civilizations could construct something like it. For one, a Dyson Sphere must be larger than the star itself. And if these megastructures are bigger than stars, well, they should be easy to spot, right? Well, this could be tricky. Once a civilization is finished building the Dyson Sphere, the megastructure blocks nearly all of the visible light from its star. A civilization this advanced could make its own solar system invisible. Lucky for us, visible light isn't the only way to detect a star. Even with a Dyson Sphere blocking its light, a star would still radiate heat, and we could detect the star by the infrared light it gives off. 
But that wouldn't be the only way we might discover a civilization this advanced. Remember that strange radio signal? It originated about 90 light years away from Earth, coming from the star HD 164595. Was this powerful radio signal created by an alien race and intentionally pointed toward Earth? A civilization able to pull this off would need to be far more advanced than our own. This Type II civilization would be able to utilize the raw materials on every planet in its star system, and maybe even beyond. They may have built fusion reactors that orbit their planet, fueled with gas from other worlds with hydrogen-rich atmospheres. And they might be mining precious metals from rocky planets, just like Earth. They could terraform other planets into livable worlds for their populations, and they wouldn't live in fear of civilization-ending natural disasters like asteroid impacts, ice ages, or global warming because they'd have technical solutions for these, too. This alien civilization would be at the stage on the Kardashev scale where they'd be able to master interstellar travel. But if that's true, well, there should be no reason for them not to pop by for a visit, right? Well, not so fast. With all the advanced technology they might have at their disposal, these aliens could be waiting for us to catch up. That way, when our civilizations meet, we would do so as equal partners. Who knows? They could be so advanced that they're no longer a fully biological race. They could be more like cyborgs with a mix of robotic and organic material. This would make them capable of incredible things that humans could only dream of. But they wouldn't stop there. An advanced world like this would want to go farther up the Kardashev scale, and as they became a Type 3 civilization, they'd rely on something other than the power of their own star system. They would harness the power of several stars in their galaxy. With this much power, a civilization would have no problem meeting its ever-growing energy needs. They'd just hook up another star when they needed more power. If we ever advanced to this level, we'd have 100 billion stars available to harness in the Milky Way galaxy alone. A civilization like this would no doubt be the rulers of their galaxy, and they'd have the power to move entire star systems, merging them to harvest the energy they need more efficiently. So if one of these civilizations existed, well, you could detect them by observing the sudden disappearance of many stars in a faraway galaxy. This could be a sign that Dyson spheres have been constructed around not just one, but several stars. A Type III civilization could already be out there. After all, scientists have announced that they've found two galaxies with a highly unusual amount of infrared light. This is something we usually observe in galaxies where new stars are being born, but some unusual and sudden spikes in infrared light could mean that we've found the first signs that civilizations many times more advanced than us exist. Maybe they're about to make contact. Or maybe they already have. But that's a story for another what if?